Chase Headley, Brian Mitchell traded from the Yankees to the Mets. Uh, Chase Headley going back to San Diego, 33-year-old uh, Headley. Played uh, first uh, seven-some-odd years there with, um, with the Padres before he was dealt to the Yankees in 2014. Uh, last year, 273. 12 home runs, 61 RBIs with the Yankees in 147 games last season. Brian Mitchell also goes to the um, Padres as well. Um, Mitchell, 27 in April. 1-1, one 5.79 one, ERA. 20 games, one start at the big league level last year. 16th round pick by the Yankees in 2009. Uh, they've raved, the scouts have raved about Mitchell's stuff, but he has really had tr has trouble remaining um, on the Major League roster. And this is really, if you look at it, you know, Yankees in return get a, an outfielder. Uh, but if you really look at it, um, this is more of a salary dump. It's a salary dump more than anything. Uh, the connections are, or rumors, is that the Yankees are interested in getting... You know, um, Alex Cobb uh, trying to you know acquire a former Corbin. So they're linked to many uh, many things, uh, many pump potential moves. And I just want to speak of it. This trade from the Padres' point of view. If you're a Padres fan, you probably don't like this move at all. What's the point? Headley has nowhere to play unless someone else moves. And I, if you're a Padre fan, you'd hate to, to trade someone younger and cheaper just to squeeze Chase Headley into the lineup. Odd deal. IJ definitely must have something else working, I think. Um, it makes no sense. AJ needs to be fired and the Padres need to uh, maybe adapt a money ball strategy, man. They have to compete against the Dodgers with one third, with one third to half of the budget. This is not the way to do that. Literally, anytime the Padres are getting a player that has enough major league experience to be eligible for free agency is by definition a failure. Unless, listen, unless he's going to spend heavily for future assets. That's the only saving grace. Maybe you could see this as a Padre fan. But who would want him? Eating the contract is not the issue. The payroll for the Padres is low enough. That isn't a, you know, a zero sum game, but taking the at bats away from players who can um, contribute in the next few years and, you know, and or the opportunity cost of not bringing in, you know, further prospects, it's something, you know, take that into consideration. And Mitchell, you get a 20, you know, you get a righty with a live fastball, good curve. He could, uh, should help out the San Diego bullpen for certain, I think. The contract is what? Going back to Chase Headley's contract, what is it? Uh, at least 10 to 15% of the entire payroll. At least he's a potential, I guess, everyday player. And not a pitcher at that price. But still, yes. He needs to be flipped for younger players. The Padres cannot be in a business of building a winning team out of experienced players. They can't afford enough experienced players to do it. A handful of contracts like this one, maybe, but not enough to fill out a whole starting lineup. That's the thing. You know, I, I just don't see it, you know, what this move really does for the Padres at all. And, you know, Chase Headley was probably thinking to himself, man, it's going to be fun playing with Gene Carlos Stanton. And Aaron Judge, we're going to the World Series. And then the man gets traded. <laughs> I hope all is well. Look forward to speaking to you soon.